Athanasius the Great was a Christian bishop and theologian who lived in the 4th century. He was born in the city of Alexandria, in the Roman province of Egypt, and is believed to have served as the Bishop of Alexandria for a total of 45 years. With several interruptions due to political and ecclesiastical conflicts, Athanasius is best known for his contributions to the development of Christian doctrine and for his role in the debates surrounding the nature of Christ and the relationship between the Father and Son. He is particularly remembered for his defense of the doctrine of the divinity of Christ and his opposition to the Arian heresy, which held that Christ was a created being rather than co-eternal with the Father. Athanasius's defense of the divinity of Christ was a major factor in the formulation of the Nicene Creed, and he is remembered as a key figure in the early Christian church. His writings, including his apologetic treatise on the Incarnation, continue to be studied and respected by many Christians today. Throughout his career, Athanasius faced numerous challenges and controversies. He was exiled from Alexandria several times by various Roman emperors and was often at odds with other bishops and church leaders. One of the key events of Athanasius's career was the First Council of Nicaea, which was held in 325. At this council, Athanasius played a key role in the formulation of the Nicene Creed, which affirmed the divinity of Christ and rejected the Arian heresy. Athanasius's defense of the doctrine of the divinity of Christ was instrumental in the adoption of the Creed, which became a central statement of faith in the Christian Church. In addition to his work at the Council of Nicaea, Athanasius also wrote a number of influential works on the nature of Christ and the relationship between the Father and the Son. One of his most famous works is the Apologetic Treatise on the Incarnation, which argued for the importance of the Incarnation, or the belief that Christ took on human form in the salvation of humanity. Throughout his career, Athanasius faced opposition from various quarters, including from the Arian party, which sought to undermine his authority and spread their heretical teachings. Athanasius was exiled from Alexandria several times by Roman emperors who supported the Arians, but he always returned and continued to defend the faith. It's worth noting that Athanasius was not just a theologian, but also a bishop and pastor. He cared deeply for the spiritual welfare of his flock and worked tirelessly to defend the faith and protect the church from heretical teachings. In his writings, he often emphasized the importance of spiritual discipline and the role of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. For example, in his work on the pneumatology, Athanasius wrote, The Holy Spirit is the spirit of adoption, and it is through him that we cry, Abba, Father. He it is who makes us sons, and by his indwelling enables us to call God our Father. This passage highlights Athanasius's belief in the transformative power of the Holy Spirit and the way in which the Spirit enables believers to have a personal relationship with God. Athanasius's emphasis on the work of the Holy Spirit and the importance of spiritual discipline can be seen in his writings on monasticism as well. He was an advocate for the monastic life and is credited with helping to establish monastic communities in the region. In his work on the value of asceticism, Athanasius wrote, Asceticism is the door to heaven and the way to Christ. It is the beginning of the return to God. The way to the kingdom of heaven. This passage reflects Athanasius's belief in the value of spiritual discipline and the role that it plays in the life of believers. Athanasius wrote many works in his time. Here is a list of some of the most well-known writings. One on the Incarnation, this is an apologetic treatise that defends the doctrine of the Incarnation, or the belief that Christ took on human form, and argues for the importance of the Incarnation and the salvation of humanity. Two on the Councils of Ariminum and Seleucia, this work deals with the debates surrounding the Arian heresy and the efforts to clarify and define the doctrine of the divinity of Christ. Three on the Pneumatology, this work focuses on the Holy Spirit and the role of the Spirit in the lives of believers. For on the value of asceticism, this work discusses the value of spiritual discipline and the role of asceticism in the Christian life. 5. Against the Arians, this is a defense of the doctrine of the divinity of Christ and a rejection of the Arian heresy. 
six festal letters, these letters were written by Athanasius to the churches under his jurisdiction and contain important teaching on a variety of topics. 7. Life of Antony This is a biography of Antony, one of the most well-known Christian monks of the time, and discusses the importance of monasticism and the role of spiritual discipline in the Christian life. 8. Encyclical Letter This letter was written to encourage unity within the church and address various controversies and challenges facing the church at the time. Athanasius the Great played a key role in the development of the canon of the New Testament, which is the collection of texts that are considered to be sacred and authoritative within Christianity. Athanasius is best known for his work in helping to define the canon of the New Testament and for his efforts to clarify which texts should be included and which should be excluded. One of the most significant contributions of Athanasius to the development of the canon was his 39th Festal Letter, which was written in 367. In this letter, Athanasius listed the 27 books of the New Testament that are accepted as part of the canon by most Christian denominations today. This list includes the four Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, the Letters of Paul, and the Book of Revelation. Athanasius's list of the New Testament books was widely accepted by the Church and played a key role in the development of the canon. It was later endorsed by several Church councils and is still recognized as the canon of the New Testament by most Christian denominations today. Thank you for watching our video about Athanasius the Great. We hope you learned something new about this influential figure in the early Christian church. Athanasius was a complex and multifaceted individual who made significant contributions to the development of Christian doctrine and the life of the church. His work continues to be studied and respected by many Christians today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, we pray that God blesses you in all that you do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.